encourage you to share your personal thing because when customer can trust you, can find something in common with you, it's easy for you to sell your service or product. And it's a harm. Many salespeople when visiting the companies, uh, customer company or prospect, they talk about business all the time. They don't talk about personal thing. They don't take time to learn something in common between he or she with a prospect. And I guarantee you, once you build your friendship with your customer, the rest will be easier. I mean, I call the hardware and the software. The software means friendship, relation. And the hardware, you talk about a service, you talk about price, you talk about everything. If you cannot break the wall at the beginning, it takes you more time to convince the customer. So being honest, being real, being authentic is the number one key the success factor. In order to be successful uh, as a salesperson, according to you, what is the factor that, I mean, what is the uh, element of yourself, or characteristic you must have? Do you think you must be confident? Yes. And what? Confident? Knowledge. Knowledge? Product knowledge? And? Social knowledge. Right. <coughs> Anything else? Yeah. Calm. Yeah? Calm. Calm? <coughs> calm. C -A -L -M. calm. Calm. Oh, okay. Great. Calm. Thank you, David. Calm. <laughs> Must be calm. <laughs> they push you in the corner. <laughs> Why this happen? Why you have to stop deliver the goods on time? You know, you sign the agreement. We already paid. Why? Okay. Calm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know David? Yeah, it's, a bit it's a bit strange to be saying that, right? <laughs> yeah. Calm, great. Great character. Anything else? Okay. So, hello. <laughs> we are the ice cream babies. Uh -huh. Ice cream babies. <laughs> you chose the name. <laughs> 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 Ice cream, baby. All right. Uh, these. Uh, so the, uh, the um, different uh, challenges that we find into um, into sales. Um, we uh, the first step uh, we approach the client approach. Client approach. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. Yeah, uh, getting meetings, obtaining meetings. Set, set Start up a of meeting. the client approach to the part of the client to get the meeting. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, Sorry, my hand writing is terrible. No problem. Meeting uh, client expectation. Meeting client expectation. Okay. Competition, market situation. Okay. And closing the deals. Okay. Great. Client approach. They don't want to meet us or what? Specifically speaking, right? Specifically speaking. Um, in, in our domain, for example, we have uh, hundreds of uh, logistic companies in town. Right. So the logistic people in uh, the companies, they are used to receive many phone calls a day. I uh, see. So you need to find, need, need find a clever way to try and, and, and uh, get to meet them. Right. So Absolutely. Interesting. Today we, we will have a practice session with uh, telephone. Yeah. And we do it lively in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. right. right. Okay. <laughs> client approach. You will do it. <laughs> and client expectation, they demand too much. Mm -hmm. Right? They ask for more benefits. And more benefit than... Low price? 
And no prize, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know how it works. <laughs> yeah. Okay, competition. And your competitor is willing to lower the price mm -hmm. all the time. Yep. In the market situation, you mean the economy downturn? That's right, yeah. Okay. And close the deal, of course. Great. Keep a big hand. To give the commission ah, to the customer. Commission. Okay. But you see, in, Viet in Vietnam market, in practical, we mm -hmm. sometimes we have to, to deal with it. Don't ask you how we will provide to the customer, but we just want you to, to like, guide us <coughs> how to talk to the customer. Okay. That's the way. That's great. Yeah. Interesting. I will. It's Definitely. It's My experience too. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Give them a big hand. If you have a good relation with the boss, I mean in the corporate world, I know that's complicated, of course there's a PNP policy and procedure, but it's still human, human being, right? And uh, why the old fashioned method doesn't work? This is the challenge you are facing, but do you understand the cost of all these effects? The root cost. Why you have a difficulty on this? Why you have a difficulty on client approach? You already answered. There are so many companies in town. They call every day and now they just hang up the phone and they don't want to hear. So there should be other way to approach them. Because you already know that the telephone doesn't work. So the question mark, what way, we can answer later, right? Client expectation, why do they expect, uh, why they have a so unreasonable expectation? Because they don't love you. Think about it, because they don't love you, that's it. Competition, yes, everywhere, any kind of business, there's a competition any kind of business, and how to win over competitor. Can I, can I just come back to what sure. you just said? So when, yes. you, when you're saying client's expectation, when your client's expectation are too high, it's just because they don't love you, which means that they set up the bar, the bar very high, they know you cannot reach it. So that's a way for them to get rid of you? That's Probably the yep. benchmark, yes. Okay. Yes. So they're pushing you very down, down, down to the edge, just yeah. because simply they don't want to walk with you. They don't have this relationship, and they want to walk with someone. Right, right. Okay. Or they are happy with the current supplier. Yeah. Yeah. And how to win over the, the competitor. Yeah. In this case, where do you drive your focus? You still focus on Petro Vietnam and their subsidiaries, or you focus the other part of the pie? Is there any part of the pie that you take? Uh, a bigger percentage in town? That's the question, right? So if every day we focus on Tejo Vietnam, then we don't have. And it has skill. We already, David already shared that we should work with our global sales team to push more. Every day, if you push your head skill, then they will do for you. If you don't push, they forget you because they have to handle in many locations in the world, many branches. So build a relationship with our headquarter. Uh, I'm not sure whether Altus has the culture for cross-selling that the KPI of HQ people must support certain location in Asia, in Europe, in America, for example. If you have that kind of culture, then it's easier. The rest later. Uh, why the old-fashioned method doesn't work? I, I like to share with you, this is very important. The revolution of technology, does it affect to your everyday business? Yes. Do you use IT tools to sell beside a traditional telephone, email? Do you, know, uh, do you use other tools? Let's say, how many of you here have a personal website? No one? Personal, personal website. No one. Okay. I remember that. <laughs> I'll share later. The world is flat. Yes. Now you can communicate with anyone in the world. Uh, globalization. There's no barrier anymore. 
except in their mind, their heart. But the space, the border, globalization, now we can reach to most of the world. Online and offline presence. Why I'm asking you, do you have a personal website? Because the online present and the offline present is very important for the salesperson right now. You got a social website, Facebook. Are you on Facebook yet? Yes. Do you have a fan page? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Because if you build your online present, then you have your customer. And how to, how to attract the fan to your fan page? You will get uh, your customers uh, as a friends on Facebook. Yeah, that's an excellent idea. But what we have on different, how, yeah, different. It depends how you use Facebook. Yeah, I mean, if you got if you got all the pictures of your parties and you're like this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Good it's point. Maybe not a good idea to share it, right? How to decorate your your fan page is a critical. It's very important. To very important, right? And we go into detail the technique later. But what I'm sharing with you is, do you have a fan page yet? That's it. Fantastic. And how to do that, I will show you later. Okay. okay? So not for your customers on your <laughs> So um, we must be honest to our customer. This element. Why the old-fashioned method doesn't work? And the new method, how to build an online and offline present, how to be a number one person in town is a something, is a field that you should dry your focus. You must, you must be an expert in your field. Personal expert, expertise, what I mean. Of course, Altus is a global company, you talk, every company said this, everybody knows this, but what about you? <coughs> when you go to Google, you tie your name, is there any result there, is there any search there yet? Do they understand you are an expert in, in the field yet? That's a key. It becomes more and more important in your field. Yes, it's very important. Because before they agree to meet you, they may go to Google. First, they Google Altus. Second, they may Google your name. And if you are the person who share the value to the market regularly, then in their mindset, when I have a need, I think about David. Every day he advised me some tips on how to do the import and export documents, some tips, just few words in, in his Facebook or in his email he sent to everybody. And he signed David from Altus. This is how we do. The traditional way, <coughs> yeah, it's good if it works. But uh, you should change if it doesn't work. And now is the time for the tea break. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We come back to the percentage of your satisfaction in life, particularly, example, family. Uh, Are you satisfied with your family percentage from 1 to 100% uh, to about your work or your finance situation, your spiritual life, your entertainment, and your social life? Just give the number, that's it. <coughs> no, 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 each one is 100%. Uh, and you just categorize. Like how, how satisfied we are. About yeah, the, yeah, about yeah. Each with your current situation in terms of work, finance, spiritual life, entertainment, so so and family. No, it's not total 100%. Each, each blanket is 100%. Uh, okay. yeah.
Yeah. More or less, uh, I think I get uh, 80%. 80%? Yeah. Right. Work. You mean A0, right? Uh, yes, 80. Okay, okay, right. Go on. Just the number, or you want me to explain? Or just, just the just number, the just the number. Just okay. the number. Uh, the finance is 90. 90? Yeah. Wow. Spiritual mm. life is only, uh, I think, 20%. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Entertainment twenty percent, uh, social life one hundred, and family sixty. Okay. What's wrong with entertainment? Uh, you see, uh, what are you doing this weekend? We go out together to kill someone. Invite <laughs> me. <laughs> what is your husband doing? <laughs> you should invite me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. We think about that. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Out of volunteers, you share with your partner that if I want to raise my finance, what should I do? Or if I want to, to raise my family satisfaction, what should I do? And if I want to raise the satisfaction at work, what should I do? You work in pair. You ask. And your partner will answer. And your partner asks, you will answer. In other point of view. Okay? So you walk in here, you discuss for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, discuss. I know that you want to raise the number in each area, right? So now you discuss. You must say it. And Kevin must say thank you. And Kevin choose another person to compliment, not the person just complimented you. Okay? Understand that rule? But it should be real. <laughs> what, <laughs> what happened if a person <laughs> don't, don't, don't have anything to comment? <laughs> I know you will ask this question. But look, if you watch carefully, you will find something to compliment about a person. Whether the character, whether the outlook, whether whatever. Okay, 30 seconds. Who we'll go first? Okay, great. Wow. Thank you. Um, I like the dress of Miss Lin. You are very nice in that dress. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let me share with you the way to say. You must say, Miss Lin. Nen, nen, nen. Nen. I like your chest. You look great on that chest. Call the name first. Compliment the second. Okay? Great. Okay, Miss Nen. Please. Say Miss Fong. Wong? Yeah. I like everything you used to teach me for operation before with uh, removals. Wow. Ooh. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, George <laughs> <laughs> I would like uh, to say about Mr. Nhật. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's, um, I think Mr. Nhật has... Talk to him, talk to him. Yeah, Nhật, I think you have um, a gentle, that is very in natural. Oh. This is, I think, this is a gentleman in... Um, real gentleman. Yeah, real gentleman in natural. Wow. Not, uh, some people pretend the, the, to the, 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 the gentleman <laughs> they, they right. become gentle <laughs> from the uh, the education uh -huh. from the some something like that. But this is from natural. natural. Wow. So something 
his his um, activity very very you nice. Like that, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I? <laughs> I like you. Wow! 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 Pepsi, Coca-Cola, P&G, whatever. But if you don't compliment your colleagues, it affects the business every day. Trust me. The energy, when you do that, your physical energy, your emotional energy, mental energy, and spiritual energy activated at the same time. And it should be real when you compliment somebody. Be it a classes? Yes, Kevin? You can find a way to compliment your client. They may listen to you more carefully. Yes. To to them. Exactly. He's speaking on behalf of me. You don't save me. I'm going to say that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. This is will help you every day. This is correct and this is incorrect. When you wear shirts uh, to meet your customer in your sales meeting, right? Your color must be um, fit. Okay, you can see the picture very clearly. Your sleeve must be on this land, not this one. I mean, when you do yourself, maybe you don't pay attention to what you wear before. But this is for men, lady later, okay? And if you wash this, how to measure the space between your collar? By putting your finger, if you can put one or two finger, that's okay. Don't, don't do it too tight, because you, you will be tired. And if you can put the whole hand, every finger, it's incorrect. I mean, you should measure the shirt. It's okay. It's right. It's correct. Yeah. And as YouTube, as you know, the active sales guy, but I saw the logistic problem. One being employee, you know what I mean? One yeah. being employee of a company. If one day I, I go with my own business, like, like you, like, 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 mm -hmm. like you are doing, maybe I would invest myself personally and, yeah, and put my face on, on, uh, on the face of the company. Mm -hmm. But as a worker, as a staff for a company, okay. I, 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 don't, I don't think it would. I think it would be ridiculous. As so a don't make it for yourself, make it for your company. I mean, it, it's, yeah. it's cheap. I mean, uh, the cost is not there. I mean, you just need a camera. Yeah. I mean, you can tap your daily working. You can interview your colleagues, you can whatever, but think about it. If the audience, they watch this video clip, uh, what does it talk about? I mean, I believe you can do it. Of course, this is just an example of myself. Sure, 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 sure. But I encourage you to use the YouTube as a marketing tool. Or even you stand in front of a camera and talk about, okay, I'd like to share with you some tips. When you book with the shipping company, example, and then you talk. You talk and then uh, you sign your name there. Put it on the Facebook or YouTube and then remember you. Of course, when you change the company and then you remove it up from, from <laughs> YouTube. But I agree with you, it's, it's always an additional way to communicate anyway. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's a new word. Is the real that uh, every, everyone always have a big problem when moving your house? So, to solve this, Big, very big problem. Just call us, I like it called app. Okay. You do it regularly by sharing. If you see the video, 
your hand will be like this <laughs> at the beginning, right? And then you you just keep stiff still, and when you you tell it the story, your eyes become dreaming. I remember going in the trip. Okay, if you do that, it does not give any effect to the audience. You have to interacting with them. Look at and share your eyes for the whole conference room. Share, talk to someone, talk to someone, talk to someone. You know, um, thank you. It's very simple. Okay. Right. Uh, we talked we talk about politics, we talked about our economy, made about our worst Ooh, developed whatever. very much. Yeah. But actually, my list, uh, list is not, not so. Uh, no, no say, So, <laughs> let's say, uh, so I, I took the topic, I talked about my married life. Mm. Very yeah. easy for me, huh? Right. Not, not thing every day. So, anyone, uh, we were born and then we grow up. And then uh, we uh, go out for, to look for a job to earn money for daily living. And then one day we meet a girl, meet a girl, <laughs> uh, maybe beautiful, uh, 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 depend on you, <laughs> depend on your skill. And then uh, after maybe one year or one month, then we come to a uh, um, uh, married life with her. So, what happened after the married life? Uh, when he said, yes, you can talk now. And what did she answer? Did you hear? She said maybe she called another time. Yes. But the customer already said, yes, you can talk now. Remember? Yeah. Okay, so when you call to the cell phone, remember to ask for the permission. Oh. Yeah. She's afraid to look into my eyes. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. One, two, three, four. I already see the idea. What she's thinking is that she, if he gets correct. You understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah, understand. Your number one thinking right now is, okay, let's see Francis, whether he's right or wrong. But what I mean is, most of the time, when you look into the, the, the person's eyes and then you understand what he means.